Hi there, so in this video I'm going to look at the difference between the standard deviation and the standard error of an estimator and in particular illustrate this using simulation using R. So I've got RStudio up and I'm going to load up a new empty script file and to start off with what we're going to do is simulate some data from a normal distribution uh, and just do a single sample with a particular mean, a particular sample size and a particular standard deviation. So I'm going to define a variable called n, which is going to represent my sample size, which I'm going to arbitrarily choose as 10. And then I'm going to ask R to generate some random numbers from a normal distribution using the R norm function, where the sample size is going to be uh, 10, which is stored in our variable R. I'm going to specify a mean of, for example, 5, and a standard deviation of 2. Now, because this is going to draw numbers from a random normal distribution or a normal distribution with mean 5, standard deviation 2. In terms of reproducing these results, I'm going to set the seed at the top to some arbitrary number so that if you set the seed to the same value and use uh, the same code, you should generate the same random numbers. So what we're going to do is run that code and now we've got 10 values in our object called x which are drawn from a normal distribution mean 5 and standard deviation 2. So the first thing we'll try is looking at the mean and the standard deviation of this object x and we see that the mean is 4.3 and the standard deviation is 1.48. Why do these differ from 5 and 2? Well it's because we just have a sample of 10 values from this normal distribution. The 5 is the true or population mean of the distribution and the 2 is the true or population standard deviation from which we're drawing from, whereas this mean here is just the sample mean, the mean of the 10 values in the sample, and so it will deviate from that population mean. And similarly, the standard deviation, this is the sample standard deviation, differs because we've just got a sample of size 10 on which we're estimating that population standard deviation. Okay, so this is the standard deviation in the sample of the x's, and the true standard deviation of the x's in the population from which we're drawing is 2. So to look at the difference between that and the standard error, what we're going to look at is the sample mean and the standard error of the sample mean, because the standard error is simply the standard deviation applied to an estimator. What's an estimator? It's a function of the sample data which returns to us an estimate of some unknown population parameter. So we're now going to do a simulation study where we repeatedly generate samples from this normal distribution. And on each of those samples, we're going to store the sample mean. OK, so let's generate a new variable I'm going to call nsim, which is the number of simulations we're going to perform. I'm going to choose 10,000. We're then going to have a for loop. So I'm going to have uh, a for loop variable i that loops from 1 up to n sim and within the for loop we're going to generate use the same code to generate a vector of 10 values from the same normal distribution population mean 5 population standard deviation 2 we're then going to calculate the sample mean of those values just as we did at the top but what we want to do is store the sample mean from each of the 10,000 iterations so let's generate a new vector or array called mean array which we'll fill out with values of 0 with length n sim and what we're going to do is put that sample mean into the eighth, the ith element of that array. So if we now run this code again I'll set the seed to the same starting value at the top of that segment of code now if we look at the mean of these mean arrays, what this is calculating for us is the mean of the 10,000 sample means. And we see that this is very close to 5. We've done a large number of simulations. The sample mean is an unbiased estimator of the population mean, which is why with 10,000 simulations, this average of the sample means is very close to 5. If we look at the standard deviation, of the sample means across the 10,000 simulations, what do we get? A value of about 0.63. It's not the same as the 2. Now this standard deviation of the sample mean across the 10,000 simulations is the standard error, or at least our estimate of the standard error 
of the sample mean for this particular setup. So as I said a minute ago, the standard error is simply the standard deviation when applied to an estimator. In this particular case, our estimator is just the sample mean as an estimator of the population mean 5. So how does this standard error 0.63 relate to the standard deviation up here? Well, it turns out that the variance of a sample mean is equal to the population variance, which here is 2 squared, the standard deviation squared, divided by the sample size. So if we square root that, this will give us the true standard error of the sample mean based on theory rather than based on a simulation. And we can see that it's pretty close to our simulation estimate of the standard error, which was 0.6288. Now, in a real data analysis, you just have one sample of data, but you might want to calculate an estimate of this standard error to indicate the uncertainty or the repeated sampling variability of your estimator. So in a particular sample, what you might do is estimate the standard error as the standard deviation of the x's divided by the square root of the sample size. So we're replacing the um, population uh, standard deviation of 2 with our sample estimate of that, which is the standard deviation of the 10 values, and dividing by the square root of n. So what we can do is generate a new array, which we'll call standard error array, also of 10, size 10,000, and we'll store that estimated standard error in the ith element of that array. And what we'll do at the end then is compare the average of those estimated standard errors to the true standard error. So if we rerun this segment of code, we see here that the average of our estimated standard errors is 0.6155 compared to the true standard error of 0.632. So there's a slight difference here, and that's actually because um, although the, uh, popul uh, the sample variance is an unbiased estimator of the population variance, the square root of that is not actually unbiased for the true standard deviation of 2. So there is a slight finite sample bias here. So to recap then, the standard deviation of the x variables is looking at the actual variability in the population or in the sample of the individual x values around either the sample mean or around the population mean. In contrast, the standard error of an estimator is looking at the variability in the values of an estimator across repeated samples. And in this particular case, we've looked at probably the most simple and common example of an estimator, which is the sample mean. Hopefully that's been useful.